Happy Valentine's Day, y'all, from Michael and me. Yeah. Uh, we were on a cruise one time and we did a game show, a uh, newlywed game show, and where we had to say what we thought that they would, how they would answer it, and we had such a good time. So I think we're going to repeat that after we'd probably been married just a couple of years. So after, how many years have we been married? Now? In 2004. When would that make 18, us? huh? Yeah, 18. Next month will be 18 years that we've been together and we hadn't killed each other yet. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> some people may not know how y'all met, so why don't, since it's Valentine's Day, why don't you tell them y'all's romantical story? That's a long story. I can tell it for you. No, no, I don't like the way you tell it. <laughs> so I lived right next door. I had moved from downtown because I decided to want to live on the water, y'all. So I bought the first place I looked at and it was in a beautiful condo in Turner's Cove. And there was six units that was right on the water. I could almost step out the door and spit into the water. So uh, I had, I went, right after I moved, I moved in on my birthday, January the 19th. And in uh, August, I had, I had been on hiatus from the restaurant because I was writing uh, The Lady and Sons. All right. Just Desserts. Just Desserts, yes, The Lady and Sons Just Desserts. And I finished in August, and uh, so I stayed in my kitchen or at the computer, and I would let Sam and Otis, my two dogs, I would let them out to go to the bathroom, and our condos were, they looked like downtown because we even had a square. So I would take them out to walk in the square to do their business. Well, this one particular day, it was like mid-August and it was hot as blue blazes. And uh, so I let them out the back door and as soon as I did, they turned to the left and haul buggied. And I had no idea where they were going, uh, but they heard they heard somebody uh, around that big old wall over there. And uh, so that wall came almost to the water, lacking about this much, just enough for someone to shimmy around. So the dogs ran around it easily. And then I, I held on for dear life and shimmied around it. And uh, sure enough, they had uh, heard somebody talking on their phone. And uh, they led me up to this man with a long scraggly beard and long hair. And he was talking on his cell phone and he looked so mean. <laughs> it was love and, at first sight. No, it was not. <laughs> and naturally, Otis started taking a humongous crap right there at Michael's feet. And I said, oh, well, he'll kill me now. That's the reason for him to kill me. <laughs> so I, I said, I am so, so sorry. If you've got something I can get it up with, I'm happy to get it, give it, uh, you know, get it up. And he said, he mumbled something like, well, I like animals, it's people. I'm not so sure about. <laughs> so listen, for the past three years, y'all, when I was living downtown, I was praying that God would send me a neighbor because I, my business was doing so good, my children were doing good, but I was lonely. I was very, very lonely. So I, every night, that was the last thing I said before I went to sleep, God, please send me that neighbor. And uh, so, I mean, I gathered my dogs up quickly and started home with, got them around the fence and I put them down, let them walk in the house and all of a sudden it dawned on me. And I just stopped in my tracks and I looked up and I said, Lord, that ain't my neighbor, is it? You said. <laughs> Cause he scared me. So y'all be careful what you pray for. <laughs> you just might get it. <laughs> 
so the dogs did it one more time. And uh, that time I said, well, he, he didn't kill us the first time. So maybe he won't kill us this time. So I asked him three questions. I mean, quick. I was I was popping them off quick cause, so I could get out of there. Uh, first thing I said, are you married? He said, no. And I said, do you have any children? Yes, I've got two teenagers, a girl and a boy. I said, well, that's good. You know, he, he's got custody of these children. And uh, the third question I asked him, and I felt like I'd hit the jackpot. Uh, you don't have a job, do you? <laughs> He said, well, yes, I do. Uh, I'm a harbor pilot. And that really made me smile because I knew that these pilots were self-sufficient and didn't need any outside help. Because <laughs> what little money I had then, I was working terribly hard for it. <laughs> so that's it. But if you can get your hands on a copy of my memoirs, it ain't all about the cooking. That'll really tell you the whole nitty gritty story. Right? Yep. <laughs> Do you have any add-ons? No, that's, uh, she She had it, almost everything. Except for, um, she did ask me if I, I knew anything about boats. Yeah, cause I just bought a boat. And she could turn the CD inches. player on, that's it. Uh -huh. Uh-huh, I put in my Motown CDs and... But then I started thinking, because at the time I was happily unmarried. And um, so I, I started thinking, gosh, this might be a match made in heaven here. There's, this woman's got a restaurant, just wrote a sweets cookbook, because I have a sweet tooth this big. <laughs> and, and I said, she's got her own boat. <laughs> See, he was checking off the list the same way I was. <laughs> yep. So it yep. might have been a match made in heaven. Yeah, I did. I asked him if he knew anything about boats because I had just bought this boat. How many feet was it? 27. 20 is big. But I had... It was the same as that one. Same size. Is it? Was it? Yeah, you always had, had the two cabin big old motors. Yeah, and you could sleep in mine. It had a cabin in it with some beds and so I, I couldn't drive that. Bubba tried and I think he got dark, you know, got, I don't know, but it didn't work out. <laughs> and uh, I used to get my dogs and I'd get my Motown CDs and I'd go down there and put in my CDs and turn them real loud. I'm surprised the neighbors uh, didn't say anything to me because, you know, I had it pretty loud. And when you're on water like that, sound travels. But uh, I, the dogs and I just sat there and we'd wait for another boat to come by, you know, to give us a little wake so we could rock. Say we've been out boating. <laughs> so let's get to our little newlywed game. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna ask each one of you I'm going to go back and forth questions wise. Okay. And as the newlywed game works, they've been asked these questions and they've already given their answers. Mm -hmm. And these are just mm -hmm. fun little mm -hmm. questions. We'll see how well you know each other. So the first question is actually for Paula. Okay. And this is about Michael. So you're answering okay. a question that Michael it's has answered. It's not about <clears throat> Michael. It's about what Michael would say. Yes. How he would answer right. them. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are safe questions just okay. so you know. It's safe. What safe. means what? There. What was Michael's first car? What was Michael's first car? He told me it was old. <laughs> it was like, uh, was it a Plymouth or a Dodge? And then he had a little Beetle. He had a Volkswagen for a long time. But his very first car was, was like a $200 junker or something. What's the answer, Michael? <laughs> Galaxy 500. That was a nice car. Who makes that? Ford. Okay. Galaxy 500. I'll never forget that now. <laughs> it looked like the car on uh, Andy and Mayberry. Uh-huh. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. 
So Michael, this question's for you. Okay. How many pairs of shoes does Paula own? Um, 70. 70? That's how many you own. I said you would say 30. We ain't even got 70 holes back there to put shoes in. Well, we're even. The score no, is tied. <laughs> okay, so. If my, I knew my answer, you just guessed yours. Well, I had to say what you would say, what uh, I thought you would say. Hey, it's Valentine's Day. Okay, Paula, ready? Mm -hmm. What would Michael say? Is Paula always late? Always early or right on time? Always late. <laughs> what did you say? I forgot. He said extra, extra late. <laughs> Tell him the story you told me. I think me. I get a point, don't I? Just, just the other day we were on an airplane and Paula was watching a movie and we had a connector. So it was kind of, was, we didn't have long to sit there. And it was Atlanta, so we had to go to another um, concourse. Oh, well, Paula had to watch the end of her movie. Thank the Lord, the airplane turned the damn movie off so we could go catch that next plane. I and then she left her iPad and her, her phone. So I we were, we almost back. spent a night in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But Michael, I was so frustrated because I had, I had to shut off a movie on the flight there and then the next flight. So I had missed two movies, the end of two movies. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, you ready, yeah. Michael? So what is Paula's favorite food? Paula's favorite food, let me think. Um, it might be my favorite too, but I'm gonna say pork chops. Is it pork chops, Paula? I was pretty close. You were pretty close. <laughs> Oxtails. <laughs> What are oxtails, Paula? Oh, they're this romantical food. <laughs> and what is romantic? Pick it up and gnaw it, and it's just run down your arms. It's just so it's good. Uh, it's it's actually the tail, tail of a castrated bull. We used to call it swinging sirloin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they're, they're delicious, and it used to really be really, really a poor man's food but you can go into most restaurants in New York City right now, your finer restaurants, and there'll be some form of oxtail on that menu, whether it be oxtail soup. Uh, we went to a restaurant one time in New York, supposed to be the finest French restaurant, and they had oxtail and lobster, and I said, get that, Michael, that'll fill you up. Well, they brought his plate out, and it looked like a strip of chewing gum. So we keep asking questions about cars, Paula, to you, because we know that Michael mm -hmm. absolutely adores cars. Yeah, anything with a motor. Exactly. So how many cylinders does Michael's cars have? And it's actually pretty much one answer. Which cars? Which cars, Michael? Which cars are you asking about? You said in his cars like more. His old car. The, oh, his, his old vintage. car. Oh, I would say, um, be a six cylinder, but I know he would prefer an eight cylinder, right? Well, what is it, Michael? Eight. You were close. I said both of them. I know you did. <laughs> okay, Michael. Who said I love you first? I think I did. Ding, ding, ding. That's so, sweet. so Paula, what is he Michael? and his family are big? I love yous. I mean, they they uh, they walk from one room to the other. I love you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I think it was him. So what is Michael's favorite food? Michael, uh, did I answer that? Mm -mm. Well, I don't have a card telling me that. He's going to tell you once you oh. answer it. Oh, that's right. I got it. Baz Ackerts. <laughs> I was going to look on my card to see what I see. <laughs> so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You just can't be smart and be this pretty too, can you? <laughs> it's tough. I look like crap today. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Uh, what his favorite food is? Seafood. Okay. Some form of seafood. A standing rib roast. I know that. I know that is his favorite food. But he tells me so often I could live off of seafood. I could oh, really eat good. seafood every meal. You like most food? Not about a lot of food. I don't, I don't like. <laughs> it's hard to believe. You I'm ain't so, met him yet, have you? I'm so, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so fit. You wouldn't think that. <laughs> okay, so here's the last question. He went, he had to go to the doctor today. And, uh. He came in and I said, how'd it go, Michael? He said, that doctor told me I was in perfect shape, a perfect specimen of a man. 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was funny. <laughs> Cause he had me, I said, oh good, good report. <laughs> okay, so Paula, here's the last question. Uh huh. What is your? I've got more hearts than that. Oh, I'm sorry. That you should. I'm sorry. I got two hearts. I'm supposed to be. At, I messed up. Sorry. It's oh. Michael's turn. <laughs> what are Paula's favorite pizza toppings? Uh, pizza. Let's see. She kind of changes it up, but uh, I'm gonna say uh, sausage and bacon. It's close. I almost said that. <laughs> we do. We do like all the meat. <laughs> so. Oh, that's what I, I said. I could have like four or five. We of them. like meat pizzas. <laughs> Don't give us no uh, margarita pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Paula, here's uh -huh. the last question that okay. I have to answer. What is your oh. favorite recipe that? What is Michael's favorite recipe that you make for him? What now? Okay, this question is it was to Michael, and it was, what is your favorite recipe that Paula makes for you? Well, doesn't he need to answer that? Because I know Already that. Already did. You answered. You answered. Answer. What did he say? You have to answer what he said, remember? How many so times are you going to rules? Well, now I'm confused. All What's right. my favorite recipe you cook? Just answer. No, the question was, what is your favorite recipe, recipe that you cook for me? No. That right? has, no, it's... This was the question to Michael, and this was Mike, and okay. Michael answered it. Am I and supposed to have a heart? No. Right, you are supposed to have one more. And guess. Okay, so you're. You're the only person who's ever failed the damn newlywed test. <laughs> okay, so this was the question that I asked Michael, okay. and he has his answer written right okay. here. Okay. So answer. we just need you to guess what he wrote down. Okay, and what was that question? What is your favorite <laughs> recipe that Paula makes for you? What is his favorite recipe that I make for him? Correct. He's a damn pretty. Standing rib. <laughs> the ox tails. <laughs> and, and you never make them. You know how I used to get, get them? They are so stinking expensive, Michael. Well. You know, most of it's bone. And you buy them at the grocery store and they leave so much fat on them. You know how I used to get um, get you to cook oxtails? Mm -hmm. I'd get Bubba to, I'd say, Bubba, tell Paula you want oxtails. And you say, she'd say, Bubba, you want some oxtails? I'll feed you some oxtails. <laughs> My okay. brother loved them. He I loved them. Let's try this last question. So, Paula. Okay. I think I'm winning. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm confused. Okay. Well, you know, you failed. You I'm failed a confused you, winner. Once we had to give you the, the instructions 15 times. So, Michael, how did Paula... Well, it is confusing. So, Michael, how did Paula answer this question? What is your favorite recipe that Michael makes for you? That you make I know. For me? I get it. <laughs> I understand. Let's see. Think. Um, there's, there's sausage and uh, pork loin and sausage. Yay! 
I know you better than you know me, right? Or did I get that right? It was kind of even. It was kind of even. Right, let's see, I it's got just that a... one right. 70 pairs of shoes. We can count them. We may have to alter that. Well, I man. think we should stop while we're ahead and let's <laughs> just celebrate Valentine's Day. Yeah, maybe I should give you this. Because we're both competitive. What? I can't believe I had the standing rib and the oxtails. Yeah, maybe I should just give you those, put those in your notes. <laughs> he wants me to cook these. <laughs> well, I guess that's a wrap, honey. We're going to have to stay together 20 more years because we really don't know each other. <laughs> we don't really don't know each other that well, do we? We should. we should the next 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Same to you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.